So if you want to retire in another country, you're going to be limited to countries that actually have retirement pension programs for you to move in. Let's go through them. Now, some places have really large financial requirements. They're going to be looking for a pension program that's paying you $30,000 a year or more. But in this video, we're going to be looking at countries that require a much smaller pension. Mexico is going to be the country we talk about first because it's so close to home. But in this list, it's also the most expensive place to have to get a pension program. So yes, you're going to find a really friendly culture. You're going to find lots of English speakers. You're going to find that it's really easy to buy property down in Mexico as well. Now, if you want to retire down here, one of the first ways you can do it is by getting the temporary resident visa. Now, this is a visa that you start in your home country and then you pick it up when you're down here in Mexico, actually. It can be renewed for up to four years and it gets renewed every single year. And some of the benefits of this program, including the possibility to continue to earn income from outside of Mexico, you can get your driver's license, you can buy a vehicle and get Mexican plates on it. You can even get on the Mexican public health insurance. And after those four years of renewing your temporary residency, you'll then be eligible for permanent residency. Now to get into this program, you have to apply at a consulate in the United States or wherever you're from. And currently right now, the minimum monthly monthly requirement for the money that you're getting is about $1,634 per month. And that's using the consulate in Detroit because I'm from Michigan. A lot of the consulates will vary in their financial requirements, but they're all roughly about 1,600. Some have more, some have less. Another country to retire in on a small pension would be Costa Rica. Now, this is one of the most eco-friendly countries in the world. According to the Tico Times, in 2020, 99.78% of the energy came from clean sources. And that makes them having six consecutive years of generating more than 98% of their electricity from renewable sources. It's got a lot of really nice beaches, both on the Pacific and the Caribbean side. There's some beautiful national parks out there. They have volcanoes that you can check out that have hot springs around them. And it's a bit more expensive to live in this country, but totally worth it if you're looking for that Pura Vida lifestyle. Now to retire here in Costa Rica, you're going to have to join the Pensionado program. And that is another form of temporary residency down here. And it's going to allow you a few things. You can own a company outside of Costa Rica and still continue to collect your dividends while you are on your retirement here. Uh, they won't tax you on any income from outside of the country, which is nice. And this temporary program can also be converted to permanent residency after three years. And as a permanent residence here in Costa Rica, you can enjoy all the rights of a citizen except for the right to vote. So the retirement program in Costa Rica only asks for $1,000 a month, which is much less than what they're asking for in Mexico. And speaking of retirement, why not help that like button retire? It's been working so hard to turn from white to blue. Give it a little poke and help this video spread to more people. I appreciate that. The third country you can retire in on a small pension is just south of Costa Rica, and that is Panama. Panama used to have a really easy to get friendly nations visa, which basically just let you put $5,000 into a bank account, and then you could have residency there. Now that program has moved on to be a $300,000 investment. So let's look at the small pension program they have instead. So retiring on Panama's pension program will let you stay in a place either like Panama City, which obviously gives you the city vibes. You could stay in Boquete for a little bit more peace and quiet. You could look at a place like Boca del Toro, which is close to Costa Rica. It's a relaxed beach town. It's got lots of small islands nearby for excursions and things like that. But if you're going to get on the pension program here, you're going to have tax exemptions for imported goods. So you can bring all your stuff from home right down with you. And you're going to get a lot of discounts on things as well. So you'll get discounts on your utilities that you pay when you use transportation or doctors or get any kinds of professional services or even loans. And also using this pension program, you're going to get 50% off at places like movie theaters and sporting clubs and cultural events. So there's a lot of good reasons to use this program. And again, just like Costa Rica, it only requires $1,000 a month in retirement. Let's head further south and look at the fourth country on this list. That's going to be Ecuador. Now, if you have the money up front, you could just take a $40,000 investment option and either put it in property or to a Ecuador CD that will pay you about 8.5% over the next two years. And either option will let you get residency right away. 
But assuming you don't have that $40,000 cash to put down on something like that, there's still another retirement visa that you can use that's even cheaper than any of the previous options. It's going to be a temporary residency permit that can also be converted into permanent residency. And while you're on this retirement visa, you can still freelance or be self-employed in Ecuador. That won't be a problem. You can also open up a business in Ecuador, or you could go and teach English somewhere in Ecuador, or you could invest in Ecuador. There's a lot of stuff you can still do on this retirement visa. And the best part is they're only asking for $800 a month in retirement. Heading further south again, let's look at Argentina. Now, Argentina is interesting because the Argentina peso has been steadily dropping basically for 20 years, and it's at a current low point and holding strong there. So you can go get their pensionado visa in Argentina, and you can even get citizenship after two years, which allows you to get your passport. Now, this one only requires a $30,000 a month in Mexican pesos, which right now that's averaging out to about $300 dollars USD. I have heard some reports that even though it says you only need 30,000, you might actually need a little bit more than that. In truth, you could need up to about $500 in your pension program. Now, the sixth place you could look at for a small pension program is Nicaragua. Now, this place is often overlooked, and that's because some people might view it as being dangerous. They get really bad press there, number one, and also people just don't know a lot about the country in general. There's lots of places that you could live on some really nice beach locations. For example, they have some islands you could go diving in, or you could spend you know, time at Las Penitas in the north or San Juan del Sur in the south. Both places are really cool for a laid back vibe. And if you're living in Nicaragua on this pension program, you're not gonna have any taxes on your out of country earnings, thankfully. You can be exempted from any kind of taxes on your imports. And even if you're building a home, there's some tax exemptions there as well. And the best part about it is that you actually get immediate permanent residency. Nicaragua wants you to be in the country for as long as possible and this one is only going to cost you six hundred dollars a month in your pension program now for our seventh country to retire on a small pension we're gonna have to travel across the world and look at an asian country that's the philippines now I find the Philippines to just be absolutely fascinating because it's actually the fifth largest country in the world with well over 7,000 islands to choose from. Now that gives them the possibility to offer you a pension program to come live there with them. And that's known as their special resident retiree visa. So this is a non-immigrant visa to make the Philippines your second home. And it does also give you access to PhilHealth, which is basically their health program over there. Now there's a couple different ways to get the SRRV visa. And the first way is not super inexpensive expensive. It's by putting $20,000 and maintaining it within a Filipino bank account. You could also buy property in some instances with that money. Now, this is where the pension program changes based on age a little bit. If you're 50 and up, they're just asking for $800 a month in your pension program or $1,000 if you're a couple. Now, there's another option if you are 35 years old and up, and that's going to be at $1,500 a month for your pension program, but it's also part of their ailing persons program. Program. So this means if you're actually really sick and need a lot of medical care or something like that. Sticking around in Asia, we'll go to the eighth place to retire on a small pension, and that is Thailand, one of my favorite places to live in the entire world. Lots of options to pick from there. You could be in Bangkok or Chiang Mai for the city life if you want city life. But on the water, you could look at Pattaya or Hua Hin. But one of my favorite things to do is just go live on the islands. There's so many to choose from, and they're not as expensive as you would think. Living in Thailand also just gives you access to some of the best healthy food at a really low cost. I mean, I always find that you can get meals for one to two dollars. Now you could get the retirement visa while you're there and that's for people who are aged 50 and up and they have to renew this yearly. Now the financial requirements would be either having $24,500 in a bank account, a Thai bank account, that's roughly 800,000 baht, or having a monthly income of 65,000 baht, which is around $2,000, or you could have some kind of combination of the two where maybe your monthly income isn't so high, but you have more bought in a bank account or you don't have so much in your Thai bank account, but your monthly income on your pension program is higher. But let's move on to an island in the Indian Ocean and that's going to be our ninth place and that is Mauritius. Now in Mauritius, you can find some really cool things. There's lots of waterfalls on the island itself, but it's surrounded by coral reefs as well. So lots of opportunity for scuba or snorkeling. There's also rainforests on the island where you can find their flying fox, which it actually isn't a fox, it's a fruit bat, it just has a vulpine face. 
but the retirement visa is quite useful. If you're age 50 and up, you can get your 10-year residence visa with a chance to extend that. You can invest on this program, but you can't work on it while you're there. You can hold property, and all they're asking for is $1,500 a month in your pension program or depositing $18,000 a year into your Mauritius bank account. Now, I know you're not a flying fox. You can't go anywhere without a passport, so check out this playlist right here to learn how you can get one.